at 11. A tumultuous and tense township meeting tonight in Jackson County as police are called and a treasurer is asked to pay back thousands of dollars. It's our top story tonight at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. And I'm Sherry Jones. The Rives Township Board voted tonight to give its treasurer 30 days to pay back more than $10,000. That's after a review found for years she was paid too much money for some of the work she was doing. Now this all comes more than a month after some people in the township pressed leaders to review her compensation. Josh Sanchez was at tonight's meeting and is here for you now with more. Josh. Sherry Siobhan Rives Township Treasurer Janina Teske says she misinterpreted a 2021 board vote to pay her $20 for filing for filling each construction related permit. As a result, she charged the township for processing hundreds of additional documents when she should have not for the past three years. If you have um, a, a car registration, you can then drive your car on the road. Registrations are to permit and allow something. It's a permit. Um, it wasn't permit word had to be on something. It's a processing. It, you know, it wasn't an intention to say, I will do some of the work and be paid and some of the work for no compensation. Treasurer Janina Teske has been at the center of a third party review since April that found she included hundreds of other forms in addition to the construction permits that she was paid $20 for processing. The report found from March 16, 2021 to February 26, 2023, the township filed 20 new address registrations and 203 contractor registrations, along with 652 construction permits. But she was never supposed to be paid for the address or contractor registrations. As a result, officials estimate that she was overpaid $10,900. Tusky says all of that was an honest mistake, and if there were any duplicate permits filed, they were caught soon after. A motion to have the Michigan State Police investigate was voted down by half of the board, including Tusky and Township Supervisor Jerry Adams. But the motion to have her pay back the thousands of dollars passed three to one. Tusky called the motion unreasonable. Priscilla Hart, one of the residents that called for the investigation, says she's glad the money will be coming back to the township. And I think we need to have uh, motions that are more specific to um, what she's going to be paid for and what's going to be covered in those motions. The township will have another meeting this week to verify what the treasurer can be paid for as well as vote for a new clerk. That position has been left vacant recently after the previous clerk tried to resign earlier this spring but was made to stay on the board until after the Bay elections. Sherry, Siobhan. All right, thank you, Josh. The city